What is up viewer out there watching this video, Legorox back here, bro, this time some more Destiny gameplay commentary. This is another mission within the campaign. This is called The World's Grave, and it is a level 6 mission, I believe, and to be honest, I had a rough time with this mission. Right now you're watching the ending segment of the mission. Uh, I actually died a few times in this, or uh, doing this mission. And this is my 11th life, I believe. I've, I died 11 times, or no, this is my 12th life. Wait, if you die 11 times, that means when you finish, you're finally at your 12th life, I believe, because zero counts too. Um, yeah. Yeah, when you have zero deaths, you're on your first life. When you have one death, you're on your second life. Yeah, I, I'm... I needed 12 lives to complete this mission. So, yeah, um, the, um, the world's grave is what it's called, and to be honest, it's early in the game, and it's a hard level mission. I had a lot of problems with it, I died a lot, and as you can see in this gameplay, I am desperate, jumping around using the double jump, using my special ability, knifing all of these fools that are coming towards me, just having a good time because Destiny is really fun. And... You know, funny story, to be honest, it took me a while to understand how to actually play online multiplayer, player versus player matches in Destiny. So, um, I, if you didn't know, the online multiplayer function is called Crucibles, I believe, and I googled how to unlock Crucibles, and I found out after a while that, oh, I need to talk to some guy in, like, the the headquarters of the game. I need to talk to somebody in order to activate it. So I got that activated after I completed this uh, mission right here. And I'm going to be trying to get some gameplay for you guys later today or maybe tomorrow, most likely later today um, on the online multiplayer mode. And this right here scared the crap out of me. This big knight just got me. I died. You know, he just sliced me. The darkness consumed me. Um, I died 11 times so far, so I need to restart that whole segment, and I need to do everything all over again, and, you know, everything as in getting this, uh, little thing that I got, uh, I forgot what they're called, like, these little squ- the ghosts, yeah, that's what it's called, getting my ghost, um, deployed into this area so we can, you know, analyze some stuff, and the whole fighting sequence, I have to do it again. So yeah, um, you guys saw me die, and you're gonna have to see me do this all over again. Kill the, um, the wizard and everything, and yeah. Here we go. Guys are starting to spawn out. I'm trying to shoot them as they come out, just so I can, just so I won't have to deal with them a bit later. Like this thrall over here. Look at me, trying to do the, um, like the dropkick move, sort of, like in advanced, in advanced warfare, where you jump up, do the double jump, then you just slam right on some, onto somebody's head. You can do that here, but it's not a kick, it's a, it's a knifing motion, and it's really cool. I really like the mechanics of this game, I like the feel of it, I love, or I love how you can run around, do the slide, like if you're running, you press circle, you do the slide thing, and then I love the double jump and everything, it's really cool, and if you combine all these, like, super slick moves with the melee weapon it's it's amazing it looks so slick like that that was a good knife i really like that there's another knife the knifing in this game is really nice it's not just one big swipe there are a there are actually there are actually animations made for knifing and look at me trying to take out this wizard right here with my secondary special weapon i get him out with this pulse gun and uh there are a few more guys, I believe. Are there? Yeah, there's a few more guys on the other side of this room. There's a knight. I'm trying to shoot him down. I'm able to get him. There's a thrall. There's a knife. And, you know, just double jumping my, my way out of here because when you're reloading, you always want to double jump because guys can't get you for some reason when you're double jumping unless they've got shooting abilities. So, um, yeah, and even if, you, even if they have shooting abilities, and guns and all that, or like, energy balls that come out of their hands. Jumping, you know, it's great because it makes you a hard to hit target. It makes you move and, you know, it's interesting to see that they'll, all the energy orbs and stuff will miss you. So right now there are a few knights that I have to battle. Uh, there's that one right there, and there's another one behind on the upper level. 
I can see he's coming, so right now I'm just panicking, because remember, remember last time, I got killed by a knight, he swatted at me, and I died from that. This one, I almost died, but, you know, just a bit more from death, and the other knight comes up here as well, and I'm thinking to myself, oh man, alright, here we go, here is the big golden gun um, revolver thing, and uh, I'm able to use that to kill the knight, and the time is expiring, so I need to get... I need to use up my last bullet, and I do, and it ends the mission. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, to your pulse link to your download, your shows, like, and subscribe to LEGO Rock 79 Gaming. Holy crap, this mission was hard. You guys only saw the final battle, but it was so long. This mission took me like 30 minutes to complete. I already said my outro and everything, I should be saying bye eventually, but eh. Eh, I got some stuff to show you guys at the end of the gameplay that I forgot. I had to show you, so I said the outro and everything, so I'll just leave the video off with an and by after I show you guys that it took 30 minutes and I died 11 times in this game. As you can see, it's all right there. 41 precision, precision kills, 140 regular kills, mission summary, all right here, almost 40 minutes of gameplay, and bye.